Welcome to Cook with Roy. Glad to have you here in my kitchen today. Unfortunately, Olivia is not here with us today, so it's just me. Uh, so we're going to make cherry pie today, uh, the fried hand pie type. And the first thing we're going to do to get started is to get some flour. Looks like I'm getting a little low on flour here, but uh, we're going to need one cup. And we're not going to be too awful careful with exactly how much we have there. You know, one thing they say about baking is it needs to be exact. And um, I'm more of a cook than a baker, so I don't really worry too much about it. I'm putting just a tiny bit of salt in there, just a pinch. And, um, and now we're also going to get um, our trusty grater out and we're going to grate uh, four tablespoons of frozen butter into our flour mixture. So we have our flour in the bowl and now we're going to grate the uh, butter into the bowl much like we did with the biscuit recipe. Again, the reason for doing this is to uh, envelope these pieces of butter into the flour and then when it cooks, the water and moisture in the, in the butter will um, expand, causing layers in your pastry. Now that you can see here, we have the butter in there. I'm just going to mix it around just a little bit. And I also, I'm using salted butter here. A lot of times when you're making biscuits or pie dough or other pastries, you want to use unsalted butter. But if you don't have that, just use salted, but cut down on the salt you put in your recipe a little bit. Okay, now I'm also going to take a spoon and I'm going to smash the butter a little bit into the mixture. That's just to finalize the coating process. You could do this with your fingers. And it would be just as well. That looks real good. I'm going to set this just aside just for a moment. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one egg. Now normally in pie dough, you wouldn't put an egg in it. When I'm researching to make this recipe, because this, I have not made fried pies before. Actually, the first one I ever made was yesterday. Tried it out. It was good. I'm going to give you a little hint. It was good. So we'll see if that works out today. But normally in pie dough, you wouldn't put an egg in. But a lot of pastry recipes do have egg. And uh, I think this gives it just a little bit of structure. And honestly, a little bit more flavor. Now you mix your egg in with the flour, incorporate it. Using a fork is really a good idea. Now, we're going to take tablespoon here and we're going to put ice water in. We're going to start at two tablespoons and see if we need more. So when I first started making more pie dough, because I made a lot of pies, but um, not fried pies. But when I started making pie dough, it's always like how much water do you put in there? How much moisture? What's the perfect amount of moisture to make the dough stick together, come together, but not be over, over moisture? And honestly, I still kind of struggle with it. So I think we did three, now that's four, maybe four tablespoons. Let's give this a shot. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Now you just want to work this a little bit on your board. If you need a little bit of flour to, so it doesn't stick, that's fine. But as you can see here now, this dough has come together. 
looks like it's going to be easy to work with. Okay. Now, before we go any further, this recipe I used only a cup of flour, one egg, a tiny bit of salt, and four tablespoons of butter. This is going to make four deep fried pies. So I'm going to divide it up into four pieces of roughly the same size. I wouldn't stress it too much if one's a little bigger than the other. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap them in saran wrap, put them in the uh, refrigerator, and let them um, rest and hydrate the rest of the moisture of the flour into the flour. And uh, then we'll get started on preparing the cherry filling. Okay. Our dough is resting, and we're going to now make the filling. First of all, let's start off with nice cup, cup and a half or so of cherries. These are frozen, frozen red tart cherries. Um, I think this recipe works better with red tart cherries than sweet cherries that you might get in the store. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a um, tablespoon of sugar in there, kind of a heaping tablespoon. Now, if you make this recipe, you may decide to adjust and have a little more sugar, maybe a little less. Um, kind of depends on your own taste. And then I'm just going to put a tiny pinch of salt in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave and let it cook for a few minutes to start unthawing the berries and breaking them down just a tiny bit and get them juiced uh, coming out. Okay, so we'll put that and then we'll be right back. Now we put those in the microwave a couple minutes or so. And as you can see, a lot of juice has been released. Now what I want to do is I want to separate the berries from the juice. So we have, oh, I don't know, not a lot of juice there, maybe third of a cup. So we're going to thicken it with some cornstarch. All right. Now, honestly, this is kind of a trial and error thing. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly how much that I should use. I started off yesterday with a very small amount. And so I think I'm just going to try a tablespoon. But we're kind of in this together, right? So I'm going to stir that around and get that incorporated. That's a cold liquid still, by the way. If it was warm or hot, you wouldn't want to do it this way. Because the cornstarch would instantly clump instead of blending into the cold liquid. So we're going to put this in a microwave and thicken it up. Okay, that is exactly what I was looking for. Now, we don't need a lot of it. Now, what we're going to do is just set this aside. Okay, let that cool. You could put it in the refrigerator if you want to do also. But we're actually keeping these separate. We'll just set them back here. Let's get ready to roll out our pastry dough, our pie dough, and... Um, and fill them up and get them cooked. So here we go with our little dough balls that we have here. And uh, we'll just unwrap those. Now, how big should you make them? Well, the, the commercial kind are four, four and a half inches. Um, so what I like to do, now this is a four inch cutter, but I want a little excess. So I have a couple of pieces of parchment paper. First, I'm gonna make a circle in pencil that represents the four inch round, okay? Now, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of flour out here on another piece, okay? Get it spread out, and we'll put our piece of dough there, get a little bit of flour on it so it rolls out nice. Now, with the pencil side up, put it over your, your um, piece of parchment, 
take your rolling pin and now you can see how you have a guide for your pastry. Okay, I'll we'll take that off. Parchment's really good about rolling out stuff, but you still might need a little bit of flour on the top side, which I didn't do that time. Just a little bit of that. Now, individually, I want to put cherries in there. Maybe two more. Now we have some egg wash here, which is basically a beaten egg. Go along the edge, that's our glue to hold it together. Okay. All right. We're just going to take a fork and go around, seal it up. Okay, first one done. I wouldn't say that went the smoothest, but uh, here we go. So I've got a rack here and I'm just going to dust a little bit of flour on there pick our little pie up and put it over there and we're going to set it aside and then we're going to make um, a couple more. Let's do one more together and then I'll make the other ones off camera. Try to do a little better job on the circle. That's more like what I want. As you can see here, it's really just outside of that circle. All right, take our parchment off. A little less sticky, but still a little sticky. Okay. A little bit of our goopy stuff in there. Cherries. Got one, two, three, four, five, six whole cherries in there. Now we take our egg wash. All right, we'll put this on our rack. All right, we got two there and I'm going to make two more and uh, then we're going to put them in the refrigerator and let them kind of set for a few minutes while we get our oil started. I'll be back. Okay, we're at 356 degrees. Uh, we're just going to double check here to make sure that we got everything ready. Our pies have been refrigerated for about 15, 20 minutes while we got the oil heated up. We've got our cooling rack over here and um, I'm just gonna wait till that oil gets there. I'm gonna turn it down now. Kind of let it get back up to that, get to that temperature of 375. 378. We're going to go ahead and start with this one here and uh, we're going to use this to put it in there. We're getting a little warm here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this one in. 
Just let it float off of it. Our temperature should drop pretty quickly. Three seventy eight, three seventy six. Turn it back up a little bit there. Just after a couple seconds, just kind of make sure they don't stick together. Now it really doesn't take very long to fry these at all. A light golden brown is to me preferable to a dark golden brown. I toss them around a little bit, flip them over. really helps to have a thermometer that you can see and read easily. I can't really stress that enough. All right. Put those two out. Get these other two in there. This one had a lot of flour on it. We'll see how that reacts. A little bubbly. So it's 1.57 in the afternoon here. And we're frying these. I'd say these are going to be done by 1.59. So now while those are cooking, I've got a glaze here. It's just basically powdered sugar and a little bit of milk. And we're going to glaze them. I'm not an expert glazer either. Alrighty, there we go. Nice golden brown. Put that over there. All right, what do you think? That looks really nice, folks, doesn't it? Very, very pretty. Okay, here we go. Ah, they look delicious. I sure hope they are delicious. So these have been cooling a few minutes, but uh, I think they're probably in pretty good shape, so let's break one open. Okay. Look at the flaky crust, tender flaky crust. And you can see there's actually cherries in there. <laughs> that, that is what I was looking for last time when we were tasting those uh, Hostess uh, fried pies. Oh my goodness, that's good. The crust is very nice. Tender, flaky, a little bit of crispness to it. You can see that our pie actually has cherries in them. I wish Olivia was here to get the really good close up here. Maybe we'll get it. I'm going to discontinue to eat this, all right? Mmm. That is really good. I have to say, it's probably one of the better things I've ever made. <laughs> but then again, mmm. I have a soft spot for pie. You know, there is a problem here, and that is, is that <clears throat> when you make these, there's two things you need to be concerned about. Number one, make sure you're on your own, by yourself, because you're going to want to eat them all. You're not going to want to share. Secondly, 
when you're done eating them all, you're going to be very sad because they're gone. No, seriously, folks, these are delicious. I, um, I can't tell you enough how much of a difference these are from what you buy in the store. All right, so <clears throat> I could just sit here and keep eating all these, but uh, let's uh, wrap this up here. Number one, you know, cost, inconvenience. Sure, these are going to cost a few more pennies. Um, I think the Hostess pie was $1.09, I told you, and uh, maybe these are a couple bucks a piece to make, maybe a little bit more. But this is an excellent treat. You know, if you're going to, you know, have something that's four or 500 calories a dessert, you know, why not make it yourself, make it good, make it delicious, and uh, you won't feel quite like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? I ate all this and it wasn't any good, and, and now I feel like that um, I wasted my time and my money and, and my calories. So thanks for joining me here at Cook with Roy. Please leave a comment below if you'd like uh, to do so. Hit the like button and please subscribe because that way you'll get more and more content and more delicious recipes, and, uh, and I enjoy making them for you. So take care. Bye-bye. Oh, I thought you guys left. I'm, I'm sorry. Can't help myself. I got to eat these before Olivia gets here.